Our next award goes to a trailblazing woman and it is our honor to meet her presenter, the wonderful storyteller and broadcaster, Robin Roberts. I am thrilled to be part of this celebration of abilities program and to present the 2020 Trailblazer Award to a challenge athlete who demonstrated courage, commitment, and leadership, not just in personal performance, but in opening doors for others. Anna Sowens is an extraordinary athlete who has shown us what it means to continue to reach for summits despite all obstacles. In the winter of 2015, Anna fell 35 feet in a climbing accident and sustained an incomplete spinal cord injury, bringing her active life to an abrupt standstill. After two and a half years of grueling physical therapy and adapting to her new normal, Anna and her 70-year-old father attempted to fulfill a dream they shared before her life-changing injury, and that was to stand the top together, the summit of Mount Hood, the tallest peak in the state of Oregon. After a year of physical training, and planning, including the engineering of specialized climbing equipment, Anna, her dad, and their team successfully reached the 11,250-foot summit on May 20th, 2018, after two final days of using crutches and bear crawling to reach the top. The climb marked the first ascent by a woman with paraplegia and first ever sit-ski descent of Mount Hood. That accomplishment gave her the confidence to attempt something even greater. So a year later, Anna and her team set the next goal and climbed twice as high for twice as long, reaching the summit of Mount Baker in Northern Washington on May 12, 2019. The four-day expedition on Mount Baker marked the first ever paraplegic ascent of the 10,781-foot peak and a sit-ski descent. Anna's trailblazing accomplishments in mountaineering reminds us with heart and commitment we can reach great heights congratulations thank you robin and thank you caf i am so flattered and humbled to be honored with the trailblazer award especially in the company of such incredible and boundary pushing athletes also receiving awards tonight when i broke my back nearly five years ago the fear of what my future might look like and what new boundaries i might be facing that i'd never before fathomed was more paralyzing than the physical stillness of my legs i had no familiarity with physical disability before my spinal cord injury and i had no idea just how endless my opportunities actually were discovering the world of adaptive sports gave me hope and the means to reclaim my active independent place in the world my recovery was fueled by my need to explore the trails less traveled. CAF empowered me to do just that with a grant for an off-road hand cycle my first year post-injury. It was the first grant of its kind I had ever received and it gave me untold hope at a critical time of my life when my identity felt fragile and my outlook on life was at risk of being reshaped irreparably. I cannot tell you how honored I am now to be receiving an award lauding me for helping to raise the bar for the community when it is this community which CAF helped build that has given me so much hope, ambition, and fulfillment over the last five years. Climbing hood with my dad is probably the most meaningful thing I've ever done or ever will do, and I have never made it to the summit of any mountain alone. So thank you to my climbing crews, a mix of old friends and new from throughout this sports community, and thank you, CAF, for giving me the wings to dream of climbing higher than base camp, for cultivating my fire when it was in danger of flickering out, for showing me and the world that disability is nothing, and that each of us is capable of more than we can see from the base of the mountain. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 